So good morning everyone, heading off to Sammy Miller Museum today. Hopefully Jazz's microphone's fixed, we've got a last couple of days of uh, no audio because our microphone broke and we didn't realise till last night. So you can't hear her shouting at me for a few days. So we'll just get a bit of footage riding to the museum. So I've got to shout at your extra today. You've got to shout at me extra today, and she probably will. Uh, so we're going to get some footage. I don't know whether we're allowed to film inside. If we are, we will, and if we can't, then we'll take some pickies and put them up. What happened with that hand grenade on the beach yesterday? Did anyone hear anything more about it? Just down the road from where we were yesterday. Ah, uh, you got it back. <laughs> Gary got it back. <laughs> Currently standing at one all today. Did you did you make Windies again? Yep. How'd you put up with him, Alison? It's alright, I'm travelling behind him. <laughs> yeah, I can hear him very talking but I can't make out what he's saying. Oh, oh it's just his accent then. <laughs> <laughs> we can't really do much about that. <laughs> You have to speak in a posh accent, Gary. <laughs> I say, Alison, can you hear me? <laughs> oh, the one started me off. Sorry. Christmas trees for sale. That's if we're even allowed Christmas this year. Sounds good to me. Well that's what they're saying this year isn't it? This is the opportunity to tell all your kids that Elf on a Shelf never survived Covid. Bloody hell, he's dropping loads of rocks and stuff off of his truck. <laughs> right into where I'm riding. Plenty of posh coos. Diesel on the foot on the junction though. Oh great. So whatever it was came this way too. <laughs> Watch out, I think that might be diesel on that corner there in front of you again. Not very, not very much apparently. <laughs> yeah. It'll be that one that's been dropping fuel and they pulled it. Look at all that they've had to put down. Yeah. yeah. It's definitely. So he's had to. So he's had to uh, take that up, up that, I was thinking he's taken that up those twisty roads. <laughs> okay. Right, it's pretty much about a mile down this road, but I'm not quite sure where you're turning in, so I'll have to wait. I like the fuel pumps.
So guys, welcome to the Sammy Miller Museum. We decided that it would probably be a little bit impolite to wander around throwing our video camera in everybody's face and across all the bikes getting in the way while uh, they were trying to look as well. So we've decided to take as many photos as you can. If you've never been here, we definitely recommend it as a visit. And it's definitely one of the best motorbike exhibits in the UK that we've been to. And it's definitely on par, if not slightly better than the one in Birmingham. It's got an awful lot of history in here. Now, not just history of the UK, but history of motorcycles from around the world. Uh, so a lot of well-known brands like Norton and uh, a lot of other British makes are in here. And all of the bikes are restored to a very, very high standard. And if you're a Norton fan like me, you could probably spend a good hour to an hour and a half just in the Norton exhibit alone. Now one of the good things about this museum is, unlike some of the other museums in the UK, they don't just concentrate on the British bikes, but you get a lot of Japanese, American and uh, other European brands, as well as just not having road bikes, but as well as that having some race bikes, including some really up-to-date modern machines in there. And what they try to do where they can is, if a bike has had the result or does have some uh, photographic history to it, they'll try and include that as well and it really helps bring some of the exhibits to life. And obviously with Sammy Miller being known for trials, probably more than, than road machines, there's an awful lot of uh, trials bikes in here including some that are quite unique to Sammy himself as I say all the machines here are restored to a really really high standard and they're all displayed with an awful lot of room to be able to get round each of the machines so you can have a good look and take some good photos. And there is some slightly obscure machines as well, not just your traditional, uh, traditional motorcycles that you're used to seeing. And one great feature about this museum that's probably better than a lot of the ones I've been to, if there is something that can help bring the bike to life, and make it not feel like quite as static an exhibit so let's say a photograph a planning document a patent picture of the bike in use a little bit of a written history or where it was used they'll include this by all of the bikes and it really helps bring a static exhibit to life and makes the whole place just feel a little bit more authentic and as well as bikes they've also got other pieces from the times that a lot of the bikes were made so shop fittings tills and everybody's favourites, the good old metal signs. They've even got some typewriters and sewing machines from, from these various eras. And just generally a lot of uh, motor memorabilia, including these great neon signs and these great tin cans. And obviously safety always being at our forefront. They also have some uh, helmets and things like that on exhibit as well. Tucked away in the corner, we found this beautiful little work of art, a fantastically restored three and a half Moto Marini, one of my dad's all time favorite bikes. And I found the bike that I spent time on after passing my test. I had this same model Super Dream, a bike I absolutely love. If you're lucky, you'll also get to see the man himself at work. And we were really, really lucky and pleased to have him come out and say hello to us. All in all, if you're a petrol head, or a motorcyclist, or a lover of motor memorabilia, this is a place you have to come to. It's a fantastic value day out, and you can just spend hours immersing yourself in the whole place. If you've not been, put it on your list, 
and get down here. All right, carry on up the road, carry on on the route, yeah? You will, and we're probably a, quite a bit ahead of you now. I've just passed the sign for Compton Bass Airfield, okay? All right? Now, we're on the top. I will stop in the first lay-by or first stopping place I can find on the left-hand side of the road, past the sign for Compton Bass Airfield. Ooh, my gloves work on my phone too. <laughs> Sorry, Jay. Smile, guys. Okay. No, I didn't want to ring you because I didn't know how confident you were with picking your phone up while you were riding and I was worried you were heading on the diesley bit and we're going to try and pick up. I think your sat nav's taking us on the diversion. Because we seem to be following it all. Looks like fresh. Ah, oh, I remember this. <laughs> yeah, my bollocks remember that from this morning. <laughs> it's alright, you missed a good sing along that we had when you weren't with us. This bit here reminds me of that little village in Spain where we went out and we had the pizza sat on the main street. Remember the one where they made me buy it? Ironically, they made me buy a uh, swimming cap to go for a swim. Any of your baldness falls out. <laughs> <laughs> Are we all having a space each then? You are. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, milkshake, Jazz. Ooh. Strawberry milkshake. If you're having a milkshake, yeah. I am. All right then, yeah, please. Off. Right guys, we stopped at this place Matthias, it's really nice, it was an awesome milkshake. Um, I don't know how much battery I've got left so I'm not sure how much filming I'm doing on the way back but uh, it's mostly dual carriageway so if you've been watching today thanks very much and uh, might get a bit more footage on the way home hopefully we get some usable stuff but as I say totally recommend Sammy Miller's museum oh by the way Jazz would you like to tell me dad and Alison what Gary said when I asked him what he wanted to do tomorrow Gary wants to go shopping he wants to spend all his money and buy a helmet for Alison oh, yeah. <laughs> no tell a lie no he didn't 
He didn't actually say that to be fair. I said to him, I said to him, what should we do tomorrow? And he said, oh, let's go to Helmet City and have a look, was actually what he said. Gary, 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 you've let me down. Those milkshakes were quite filling too. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, we're in ancient Wessex. What? Wessex. Used to be Wessex. It's from um, all the old Arthurian chronicles, isn't it? One of the old kingdoms. Wasn't a county until not long ago, was it? Yeah. <laughs> Do you need to stop? <laughs> oh, buttocks.